Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, Genius Nation? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. I'm here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona, where God vacations. So wherever you are in the world, let me know. And if you're watching this on YouTube, Go ahead and hit the subscription button and hit the notification button so you know when we drop videos. So good morning to you. Hope you're having a fantastic morning so far, wherever you are in the world. 6 a.m. here on the West Coast. And this morning, I want to talk to you guys about clarity, something that I always talk about. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, my whole coaching programs are centered around clarity. I just believe that clarity breeds confidence and confidence breeds momentum. And so we deal a lot on clarity. But today <clears throat> I want to talk to you just about and ask you the question, how clear are you? How clear on you on the type of life you want to live? How clear are you when you really think about that? If, you know, if I told you to take just a, a sheet of paper, a, a blank sheet of paper, and to write out your best life, what would that look like for you? If, if you had the opportunity to just take a sheet of paper and at the top of it wrote, this is my life, and then begin to write out what that life looked like for you, what would you write? Are you living where you want to live? Are you living in the country you want to live in? Are you living in the state you want to live in? Are you living in the city that you want to live in? Do you have the job that you want to have? Do you have the career that you want to have? Do you have the business that you want to have? How clear are you? Are you driving the car that you want to drive? What does that look like? And do you want a vacation home um, somewhere? Do you want a primary home somewhere? What does that look like? You know, about 20 years ago, 20 years ago, I wrote down my list. And back then I called it my um, 100 point list. And I wrote down a hundred uh, things that I wanted to do, um, what I wanted to accomplish, the type of life that um, I wanted to live. And I think. And uh, that was that was 20 years ago. And so for the last 20 years, that's what I've been working toward. That's what um, it's. It's right here. I just want to it's right here. And uh, I've just been going and crossing off everything. And so I wrote down just to give you um, what that looks like. Um, so I had it broke down family matters, financial matters, possessions, uh, charities, uh, sports, travel. And I had it broken down in all these areas and each of these areas, um, stuff, stuff that I wanted to um, accomplish. So, so look at here. So I wrote down stuff like, um, I want to speak before 25,000 people had the opportunity to do that. Um, I wrote down, I want to write a bestseller. Um, I've now written 50 books and 35 of them have become bestsellers. Um, I wrote down, I want to have dinner at the White House um, with a sitting president. I've been to the White House twice to speak, haven't had dinner yet with the president. Um, I wrote, um, be recognized as a top speaker. I've been recognized as a top speaker. I wrote down, um, have dinner with Richard Branson. I haven't had dinner with Richard yet. Um, I wrote down, have Sade sing at my birthday. I wrote down, be on a cover of a magazine. I've been blessed to be on the cover of about 10 magazines now. <clears throat> um, 
run a marathon, done that. Um, Earn 25K for speaking one hour, done that. So I wrote this list 20 years ago and I'm just, I just go down and I, I'm crossing out my list. And so how clear are you? You know, the Bible says, write the vision down and make it plain. So have you taken out the time to literally write down the vision? You know, I have some other things on here that um, I definitely want them to take some time. So I have something on here like have grandchildren, have great grandchildren. That's not in my control. That's in my kids control. They're only 19 and 12. So definitely um, we can put you know, some time on that. But that's one of the goals that I have. So what does that mean to me, though? What does that mean to me? That means, well, Will, you got to be healthy. You got to stay healthy. You got to do what you need to do to ensure that you can see your great grandchildren. Um, Leave a family trust. Create a home where my children want to visit. So after they get older, we want to make sure that we establish the home that they always want to come back and visit. Um, leave all finances in great shape at my death. Um, walk my daughter down the aisle, see my son, marry a wonderful woman. Um, see my children create great families. Um, well, some possessions, um, great watch collection. I have that, um, own a villa in Hawaii. I changed that to um, St. Martin. I fell in love with the uh, country of St. Martin. And so um, I actually lived over there for a a period of time. And so um, this is, this is my vision list. This is my vision list. And I just go down my vision list. I I get caught up in it every time uh, I look at it, I get excited. Um, to see some of the things that have already been accomplished. Um, You know, I have on here, go to the Bahamas, go to Mexico, go to, you know, and so go to India. So all of these things uh, dealing with travel, uh, I've been blessed and able to do, take a family cruise. We just came off a family cruise. So these are things that literally I wrote down 20 years ago. I wrote these down 20 years ago and I'm just crossing them off. I'm just crossing them off. And it's, and it's, it's amazing when you do something like this, because it really gives you something to look forward to, but it also gives you something to work for as well. And so, um, I know exactly what I'm working toward. I know exactly what, um, I want to do when resources and finances come in. This just gives you so many boundaries. It gives you so much focus. It gives you so much commitment and dedication. Um, and then you, you understand that I don't have any time to waste. So that's my challenge for you today, nation, is to take some time. If you don't have time today, uh, make some time this weekend, make some time this weekend and just start your list. You don't have to complete it. You don't have to have a hundred things like I do, but start your list and you'll, you'll get so excited as you begin to cross it off. So that's my challenge for you today. As I always say, let's go out there and dominate and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning at 6am. Go out there and have a great day nation.